Hillary catches grasshoppers, a delicacy here in Uganda. He lures the insects onto iron sheeting with floodlights, while smoke confuses them so they fall into barrels where they're trapped. Usually, this is a lucrative, if seasonal, business, snaring the tasty treats in their thousands. But Hillary isn't catching many grasshoppers this year due to frequent power cuts. The problem has been the power. It is on and off like yesterday night. The whole night was off. The consequent shortage of grasshoppers on the market has seen the price double compared to last season to around 1,000 shillings or 30 euro cents for a small bag. But despite this high price, those customers who can afford to are still buying as they cannot resist the fried snacks. They have a lot of proteins. They have a special taste like streams. They are like seafood. Really? They are like seafood. For me, sometimes they just like. Look at this chicken. head. It is what I like more. <laughs> <laughs> the grasshopper industry is not the only one affected by power cuts. Thousands of businesses across Uganda are being hit hard by ongoing outages, particularly small enterprises, which typically cannot afford to run diesel-powered generators. The government admits it has been slow to invest in power generation, which has failed to keep up with economic growth. But it is now building hydroelectric capacity. Oh, we're finished the studies. We are now procuring a contractor to start construction next year so that again, five years later, we should have more 600 megawatts on the grid. So the future is bright, but for the time being, we have to put up with this inconvenience. But this is little comfort to Hillary, who feels he is being left in the dark by the unpredictable outages. Like thousands of other Ugandan entrepreneurs, he is resigned to his grasshopper business being choked by such power blackouts for some time to come.